What if I told you the ancient Greeks once dragged entire ships over land, across stone roads just to save time at sea? And when the Romans tried to do better, one emperor's pride nearly split Greece in half. For centuries, sailors faced a frustrating challenge. The Greek peninsula was surrounded by treacherous seas and long detours. To avoid sailing hundreds of dangerous miles around the Peloponnese, the ancient Greeks built something extraordinary, a paved stone highway for ships. It was called the Dualcos, stretching over six kilometers across the Isthmus of Corinth, a narrow strip of land connecting mainland Greece to the Peloponnese. Ships were hauled out of the water and rolled across this stone pathway on wooden sledges. It was slow, grueling work, but it saved days, even weeks, of perilous sailing. This incredible feat of engineering worked for over 600 years, serving traders, armies, and empires alike. But in 67 AD, everything changed. The Roman Emperor Nero, obsessed with his power and legacy, decided that simply dragging ships wasn't grand enough for Rome. He wanted to cut the land itself, carving a canal from sea to sea. Legend says he struck the very first blow with a golden pickaxe, declaring that the gods would bless his work. More than 6,000 prisoners and slaves were then forced to dig through solid limestone, trying to create a waterway across the isthmus. But the rock proved stronger than Rome's ambition. Floods, landslides, and impossible terrain brought the project to a grinding halt. When Nero died, the canal was abandoned, leaving a scar of stone that marked the failure of an emperor who thought himself divine. For nearly 1,800 years, the dream of linking the Aegean and Ionian seas slept beneath the Greek sun. That is, until modern technology made the impossible possible. In 1893, engineers finally completed the Corinth Canal. Using dynamite and steam-powered drills instead of slaves and shovels, the result was breathtaking, a four-mile long. Seventy-meter deep cut straight through the rock, connecting to seas just as Nero had once imagined. Today the Corinth Canal still stands, narrow, steep, and eerily quiet. Large modern ships can't pass through it anymore, but its legacy remains unmatched. It's more than just a canal. It's a monument to human determination from ancient Greece to modern engineering. A powerful reminder that even the wildest dreams can outlive the dreamers. Thanks for watching. If you found this story as fascinating as I did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more amazing tales from history.